like I haven't vlogged in so long. Like I came from having you guys in my hand every day for like two weeks to not seeing you guys for like, I don't know, like maybe four days I haven't vlogged. So good morning guys, happy Tuesday. So today is Tuesday, just said that. It is the day before I have my first pediatric clinical. So I decided to vlog my first peds clinical with you guys, at least like you know the process of it because you know I can't film in the hospital so I can just show you guys what I'm getting ready for it and then um, talk to you a little bit about what happened tomorrow. But yeah, so today's Tuesday so far, all I've done, run out of bed, made the bed, and now I'm just kind of straightening up my apartment so we're not going out there. A lot that y'all are going to see before this, I'm going to go ahead and start editing that now. Hopefully I get a lot of that done before my meeting. I have a meeting at one I'm meeting from one to four it's our pre-conference not quite sure what we're going to talk about that meeting so I will let you guys know I want to say hopefully we get patient pickup but I also don't want to have to do patient pickup work tonight because I really want to go to sleep early tonight so we'll see I'll let you guys know and then after that meeting I need to go grab a few things from the grocery store probably just like some fruit some chips I don't know things to take with me to clinical and then get some eyelashes because your girl is looking regular I'm about to go ahead and get started my day. I just wanted to like welcome you guys to my video. So let's go. So, so we're getting our patient assignments right now. Um, it looks like for our first day, we're going to be doubling up with patients just because of like, you know, with COVID and everything, we're not allowed to take certain patients. So it looks like for the first day, we'll be partnered up, which is kind of comforting. But yeah, we're getting ready to figure that out. And then we're going to um, go over some like assignments that are in the syllabus that we need more clarity on. But this meeting is scheduled for three hours, so I hope it doesn't take that whole time. But I'm excited to see what patient I get, guys. <laughs> Since I left you guys, I have finished the meeting. Um, it actually was only about an hour, hour 15 minutes, so that was great. Um, that did not take up too much time. I got my patient assignment, so I'm super excited about that. Obviously, I can't tell you that much about my patient, but I can tell you that I get to work with the little baby tomorrow, so I'm really excited to work with the baby. Um, so I'm right now I'm getting ready to just go ahead and do all the work that I need to do for patient pickup. So that is start working on like my working care plan. So um, my um, professor already like emailed me the information that I need about the patient. So usually we'll do this part in the hospital. Like we'll go in the hospital and get the patient pick up, get report and like, you know, get that information ourselves. But because obviously COVID, they're trying to like limit the amount of people that are coming in and out of the hospital on a day to day basis. So she's going to email it to me and I'm going to go ahead and fill out the care plan. Just like all the information that I have so far start doing like research on the pathophysiology of their um their disease process like just trying to like basically get as much information about the patient as i can i have to make drug cards like you know learn about the drugs that they're on and do calculations because this is peds so i have to do calculations based on weight so i know what to expect for like you know their dosing and stuff like that so basically i'm about to just deep investigate my patient i haven't done this type of work since February and I remember in February it was taking me like five hours to do so and it's already 3 30 I don't have five hours to give it so I'm hoping I can do it in two hours tops because I want to go ahead and get ready for the night you know I still have still wanted to edit a little bit more tonight because I didn't get that much done this morning and I need to like pack up my backpack and my lunch and stuff so I just went to the store I got some stuff for lunch and like snacks tomorrow since we're doing a 12 hour shift and so I don't want to be like hungry on the floor so I got some snacks that I can grab while I'm working and um so yeah after I get this work done I want to be sleep by 9 and like I said it's 3 30 so let me start rambling with y'all and let me get to work. Okay guys, so my work is done. I'm getting ready to start winding down, getting ready for tomorrow. So what I'm about to do right now is my eyelashes actually. I'm trying to figure out where I can sit you guys for this. Okay. So I don't like to wear makeup too clinical, like as far as um, like concealer and stuff like that, because one, I don't have time for that at four in the morning and two, you're not going to see it with the mask on. So what I do like to do usually is my eyelashes or like mascara and like some chapstick. But um, 
I go back and forth in like phases with these lashes and with like mascara but right now i'm in my lash phase so when i'm like not going anywhere special like when i'm going somewhere special i obviously like get strips and like do strips but if i'm just like having these for like everyday wear um since i've been broke and i can't get my eyelashes done i tend to go and get these these are the ardell double up lashes i got them in medium this time but i usually get them in long i just didn't have long um this week so i get these and I put them on myself using the, the lash glue that is for these lashes. I think it's like lash tight adhesive or something. I actually need a little bit more of this, but yeah. So I use this and this and I like basically do my own bootleg individual lashes because I don't have a hundred plus dollars to give to someone to do my lashes. So when I do them this way, they usually last me about a week and a half to two weeks, depending on like how stupid I'm being that week. Like, I'm thinking about bringing like my bigger lunch kit tomorrow because I plan on bringing more snacks and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm about to just pack my lunch and a couple of snacks and then I'll show you guys what I packed and then I am going to get ready to go to bed. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with all of my snacks. First of all, I got myself a cup of tea for bedtime. I'm move this bread. This is basically, I have two tea bags in here. This is sleepy time tea and this is like echinacea or however you pronounce it basically one's to help me knock out and one is to help boost my immune system before i go to the hospital tomorrow so i'm going to sip on that for my shower and the rest of the night i put that away and here is just some um ran avocado ranch i'm going to use to dip my baby carrots in i also got some strawberries um a handful of almonds some veggie straws and a basic turkey sandwich with like cheese and pickles so this is usually what i take to clinical with me because one i'm cheap don't want to have to spend any money on like lunch at the cafeteria and two it's just quick to grab so i don't like to bring like yogurt and containers and a salad and stuff like that because i feel like that's going to take too long and if i'm on the floor and i get hungry and like you know i have a couple minutes before med is due i can easily like go grab a carrot or some veggie straws rather than trying to open up my yogurt grab a spoon and you know be all extra so it's not the worst but it's also not the best but it does keep me going so this is literally what i always bring um, or i take a shower and go to bed is pack up my clinical bag and get my outfit laid out um, i'm saying outfit like i'm going somewhere just basically get my scrub pockets packed because at 4 30 in the morning i just want to put everything on and be done so let's go Good do morning, that guys if i sound like a man right now it's because i literally woke up like two, three minutes ago it is 4 34 in the morning y'all 4 34 and my alarm just went off like four minutes ago i actually kind of woke up a little nervous this morning y'all i'm not gonna lie like i haven't been in the hospital like this in a very very long time so i'm a little nervous i don't want to like hurt anyone or do anything completely wrong but i'm just gonna try to shake that off of me real quick like i'm about to meditate and pray and get out of bed because i have to be gone at 5 45 so i don't have time for these nerves so oh shit y'all no. i have like an extra alarm in case I have an extra alarm in case this alarm doesn't work because this alarm runs on Wi-Fi. So like if something crazy happened with the Wi-Fi overnight, it won't happen. And I have been late for clinical before guys, and I am not trying to do that again. So this morning but it's around i literally have wasted like 15 minutes 
taking pictures because I was like obsessed with my little monkey scraps. So now I'm about to go ahead out of my room and walk my child and then eat brekkie and then leave because I have about 30 minutes. So Sway is trying to figure out why we are up this early. Go on, Sway. Good morning. You got your jammies on? You got your jammies on? You tired? I know. Okay, so it's around 5.40 now, and I am about to head out, guys. So I'm about to just grab my name badge, um, pack up my lunch into my backpack and my jacket, and then head out, y'all. I'm going to miss Sweetie Poo for, like, 12. I'm going to come see Sweetie. Come on. So... I'm about to go for 12 hours, okay? Your grandma's gonna come hang out with you. Say hi to the people. Now that's the hardest part about Kodigal, is being away from this nugget for that long. Grab my backpack, grab my lunch, fill up my water bottle really quick, and then head out of here. Um, might honestly brush my teeth again because I have to wear a mask all day, and I don't really wanna like taste my breakfast under my mask, so. Uh, yeah, so let me just go ahead and grab these few things and get out of here I will talk to you guys after clinical to let you know how it is because y'all already know your girl could not bring a camera to the hospital So all right, so it is the next day now y'all this literally happens every time I try to film like um, clinical day. I just get so Tired so by the time I get home, I just don't even want to talk about the day But like I promise you guys that I would talk about what happened yesterday. So I will talk about it So yesterday we got there around like 630 um honestly guys like i don't i don't know like <laughs> i really 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 want to like peds but i just think that not being in the hospital for so long has gotten me to the point where i'm like not comfortable in the hospital right now like you know with covid going on we weren't really allowed to do um our adult uh health clinical so like we were only in the hospital for two days during that time period and normally that's like a month worth of hospital experience which i felt like was would have been really beneficial to have before i started doing these things on kids so i guess because i wasn't confident in what i've learned like way back in february coming in here like now in july and doing it on kids it just still i still had those same nerves that i had like originally and i just don't like that but it was a good day. I just wanted to like say that first, but like I said, so we got there at six thirty. Um, we logged into the computer after like we had our patients already. We got those yesterday, or the day before, so we logged into the computer. We like got all the information about our patient that we could get. I guess in like previous vital signs, history, like what you got admitted for, chief complaint, history of present illness. I got everything. Even the review of systems, y'all. Like, I got everything I can possibly get. I was, like, all in the doctor's notes, like, analyzing everything. I wanted to know everything because, one, I wanted to, like, you know, know what I was doing, what I was walking into. And, two, I wanted to have all the answers to the questions that my teacher would have asked. But, basically, did some research on them, got a report from the nurse, and then met the patient. And her mom, obviously, because she's a child, like, a baby. So, like, she doesn't know who I am. But, yo, guys, when I walked in there, she was literally crying her eyes out like i felt so just felt so bad and like so i don't know unloved like she hated me y'all she hated me like i could not i had to do like a head-to-toe assessment like when you get to the uh, when you start your shift you have to start every shift with like a full body assessment i couldn't do anything to this child like she was not no like i could not do anything with her she was crying she was like posturing like she didn't she did not want to be touched basically so um yeah, I spent that part of time just kind of like trying to collect vital signs, not really able to, but basically just talking to the mom. And her mom explained to me that like I should just come back a little later after she's had her nap because she's just tired right now. So that's what I did, obviously. So um, I spent some more time researching her after that and then like helping other people give meds and stuff like that. And then I went back. She was asleep. I got to do my assessment and I think that's when we we bonded <laughs> I think that she did wake up a little bit during the assessment but at that point she was just like oh hi like you know um so that went well got her vital signs did that started helping out other nurses like you know just kind of doing what I could and then um but the only like really skills thing I did was like I did an assessment I gave two oral medications um and I pulled out an IV which is literally something I have been things that I've been doing since like February so I'm um, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys like this pandemic is really starting to blow it because it's like I'm literally doing the same skills that I've ever like I've been doing since February like, I feel like I'm not 
like I'm learning new things in class but I feel like I'm not learning new things in the hospital and that's like the downside about this right now because the way the hospital that we work at right now um like their rules in order for us to be at the hospital is that we can't take isolation patients so we can't take basically the interesting patients the patients that will give us more like the opportunity to do more skills because we can't do skills unless we have patients that require those skills so like we can't start ivs and hang banana bags and like you know, not banana bags we can't hang piggybacks and start ivs and like insert foley's and do all this other cool stuff if we don't have those patients and nine times out of ten i hate to say it but those patients are usually sicker and probably on isolation precautions and we can't take them because of covid so the patients that i get are always very very simple but they so that like knocks out a lot of patients i think that they say we only have five patients on the floor for 10 of us which means we had to double up and by you doubling up with an easy patient you're literally splitting up easy skills so it's like it's just not working basically i just feel like i'm not learning as i'm not given the opportunity to do as much and that kind of sucks honestly it kind of scares me because um like i said this program kind of moves so fast and i only have th three more clinicals at with kids like and so if i don't get a fire if i don't get a really interesting patient i'm gonna finish another class without have even inserting a foley starting IV, like doing anything and it kind of sucks so and um after this we have labor and delivery we have like community health and then we have icu so i highly doubt in labor and delivery that i'll be doing these skills i'm talking about like you know and so that really scares me that i'm about to enter icu and i don't even have like the basics but at least at least I will be really good at what I know but so yeah partner ended up giving it giving an IV med so like just hanging a medication um on the IV pole um, that was pretty cool to watch because they had the different type of IV uh, med so like usually like in adults they have like you know you don't know the bag with the tubes and you like you know it goes into the IV so for kids I think the pharmacy draws up all their medications in like a syringe and you put the syringe into the um, IV drip instead. So that was pretty cool. Get to see like how that process works. But you guys, other than that, yesterday was really not that um, eventful. Like I said, like the floor that I'm on is a basic med search floor, but that floor in particular, like there's a couple med search floors in this hospital, but that floor in particular takes a lot of CF patients, renal patients, um, you know like first patient so all those patients are patients that we can't see because of covid so it just kind of like there wasn't really much going on. on top of that it's the summer i don't know why people just don't be sick in the summer i don't know i sound like an ass but the bright side about having this easy patient is that i have a care plan due on um sunday so i don't really have that much to write about with them because it wasn't that difficult but um Whoa! How do I even like? What am I doing? I need to back up. I don't know how to use this. Ooh. Okay. Hey guys, it is a week later, like exactly a week later, and I just realized that I did not film an outro to this video. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed whatever the heck I was talking about last week, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Okay. Bye. Thank you.